What's up, fellas? Welcome back, and today we're gonna be looking at kids' drawings that became real. All right, so first up, we got a kid who tried to draw a beautiful monkey, and I think it looks kind of like a cup with french fries coming out of its head, but this is what it would look like if it was a real animal. That is a little bit disturbing. I feel like the teeth aspect, they, did, they didn't have to do it like that. They didn't have to give it the creepiest teeth ever. Imagine seeing this thing running at you. All right, I'm trying to figure out what type of assignment this kid got to draw like a ladybug with a freaking elf hat on the top of it. I'm not sure. Is this Santa Claus? Is this, is this a ladybug? Oh, it is Santa. Oh, I like the, I like that his arms are coming out like way down at the bottom of his body. He's like, hello, I am Santa Claus. Oh, I will give you presents. This is what happens when you're trying to draw a car. I feel like we all draw cars that look like this. Like no one knows how to draw cars. You know what it is. But I guess if it was real, it would look like that. And actually, that's kind of cool. Like the wheels wouldn't work. I guess they're oval shapes, but like the inside would be kind of fun. This is like a Willy Wonka kind of a fun car. I'd, I'd get behind it, it'd be fun. Okay, I, I used to draw sharks as a kid all the time. So like, I have a lot of drawings that look like this and I actually thought they were good until I look at the top one and realize that the eyeballs would really mess this thing up. The rest of it is quite nice. This is like when this is like when a kid has to draw their parents for art class and they're taking to their mom. Like, mom, look, I made you. And she's like, oh, thanks, sweetie. That's so good. Wow. Throw it away. Burn it. I feel like if animals actually looked like this, like a rabbit looked like this, I would like purposefully run them over. Like usually if I see a bunny, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. And I'll lose my mind. If I see one of these and it's in the road, I'm going to like go faster to make sure it doesn't get to the other side. I think, I think honestly, they were just confused on this one. I don't think they knew if they were making a rabbit, a mouse, or a spider. Because I don't know what kid tried to put four eyeballs on top of what appears to be a rat. We are inventing animals now. This one's actually kind of cute. Like, I could see this, like, actually selling as a real, like, actual Halloween gift. Like, you draw this der derpy little ghost, but, like, you can have a derpy friendly ghost in your window. So I feel like maybe the assignment here was like to draw a car of the future. Like what would a car of the future actually look like? And I feel like I did a pretty good job. Although I like the back of it is like grinding on the ground. Sparks flying. I think it's supposed to be like a jet cannon. I would drive this. <laughs> oh no, this is a bird with a beak. It has a smiley face and a beak. <laughs> they actually gave it a face and it's got an extra beak coming out of the top of its head. This one's like extra disturbing. Maybe this is how Elon Musk got inspired for the Cybertruck. One of his kids, he drew this and he's like, oh, I'm going to make that in real life. Like, this is, this is fun. Like, this is a fun car. You're going to see this at the zoo. Like, yeah, I could, I like this. It's, it's fun. Now, I feel like at this point, this one definitely wins our award for the most derpy drawing ever. Can you guess what this is before I even show it to you? Did you guess elephant? No, probably not because that's apparently what it is. We got that blue, orange, pink watermelon head looking elephant. Now zoom in closer and tell me that is not the scariest thing you've ever seen. You're getting nightmares. Guarantee it. Oh man, can you imagine if reindeers actually look like this? Like, oh man. If you, you wake up, you look out the window and you see this creature staring at you in, like it's just like, oh, I would be scared half to death. Oh no, this is Elon Musk's kid right here. He's drawing a super rocket. Okay, well, I, I guess the curviness of it might, you know, might take off a couple layers, but like, would this actually work? If you put boosters on it like this, like you could go so much farther. Maybe this is what we need to do to get to Pluto. This guy must have drawn his imaginary friend whose name is Paddington, and he seems like a guy who's happy, but he also has like a talking boil or something on Oh no, it's a beaver, and that's his nose, and that makes me feel sick to look at those holes in it. They didn't they did not have to do that. That should have been like a friendly little boil right there. I do like the floating hat though, it's a nice touch. What I'm about to show you is a little bit disturbing, but this is supposed to be Batman. I just, I'm not sure. There's a lot. It, lo it looks like a belly button with two holes and like a cut through the ribs. Like the Joker sliced a knife through your stomach. This one makes me a little bit uneasy. I won't lie to you. What do you get when you cross a chicken and a dog? You get the chicken dog. Oh, nope. That's not what I thought I'd see here. God, these smiley faces I'm seeing do, do make me feel quite uncomfortable. This one's tough to look at. Oh, this one's like a combination of like a two frog eyes that accidentally also became a dog. This actually is weird to me because it seems like it's like a good drawing. Like it seems like they understand like death, like that, you know, but like, what is it? And th this is what it is. It's literally like a, the weirdest thing ever. We could probably like genetically engineer this to exist someday. Like we could have this as a pet. Yo, this one's actually so cool. It, obviously, it's a jellyfish here, I would think. That's what it looks like. And then the actual is a jellyfish, but it looks so happy. It's like a super happy jellyfish. Like I'm stranded in the ocean and I see this come towards me. I'm going to feel so safe. I'm going to be like, yo, I'm not going to die. And then it shocks me and eats me. If someone told me to draw the Statue of Liberty, I would probably draw it something like this. And then if you put it on top and it looks like that, it would, uh, you know, definitely scare a couple people. Imagine like one of these fangs falling out. You're down there viewing it and you just see this thing coming at you. It's over. The sad thing about this one is that I still to this day would draw a turtle exactly like this picture. <laughs> I like that its head is literally upside down. This poor creature literally has to walk its whole life seeing the world upside down or the mouth just on its forehead. 
I'm actually surprised this is like our first tiger we've seen so far, but like that's, it's nice. I, I feel like the, the, the most difficult part is that A, it has two legs and B, like the faces. Like for some reason, understanding how to drop face is the most difficult thing ever. And it's always backwards. Hey, yo kids, hop in the car, we're going for a ride. But the render is like so good that like I could see this actually existing. Like I, this could be in a theme park. It's so weird because they take this like artistic shot. Like obviously it's a bad drawing. Then there's like this pen across it and like this very beautiful photograph. And then who's turning it into this monkey thing? Eating like granola bars. You would think looking at this, it's a moose, right? It's got very moose-like characteristics. And then bang, it's actually a bat. And the thing is, it still could be a moose. I don't know, maybe it is a moose. This one's confusing to me. I think it's a bat. There's no way, like I feel like this is a fake image. There's no way a kid drew this with a hand like that and then held it up to the sky. I don't know, but I'm gonna tell you right now, that is a uh, creepy looking final product there with that parrot. <laughs> this won't be my favorite one yet because it's a frog with a thick front leg. The kid's trying to give you perspective. But then this leg is like one fifth the size. I guess if you like eating frog legs, this is a great one to eat. If, you know what, if humans looked like this, it, it would be, it'd be weird. I think I'd be okay with every part of this, except I have like trip phobia and the, the nose holes on the front are, you know, tr triggering that a little bit. In fact, holes on most of these are giving me a little bit of icky feeling. Oh, that's supposed to be a hippo. And I love that all the smudge lines, like just very smudgy. I mean, it's literally like three lines and they couldn't even manage to do it. This kid needs to learn how to draw. This is what the full-time hippo looks like. I like that the face is on top of the leg, like just straight up. It's like a leg, a body, and a leg with a face on the leg. It's not trying to be anything else, but it does kind of look like a platypus to me. This one might be like our best drawing yet. Like, it's not that bad. If you showed me this picture, I would probably not like on first glance be like, oh, that's a really bad looking duck or swan or something. Like, it's not bad. Like the, the head's a little bit weird, but like it's, it's, it's not bad. I like it. Now this on the other hand is bad. And I feel like this might be the exact same one we saw earlier that was a rat, but now it's become a pig. So maybe that is like two nose holes. Like I, I feel like there's a lot of ways to interpret it. And this guy said it's a baby pig. Drop a comment. What is this one supposed to be? Pig, rat, anything else? This would actually be a pretty interesting animal. So it's got like that diglet looking head, but like a porcupine looking back body. And then a Christmas hat on for some reason. Like it's almost like a pet you could have as long as you don't touch the top of it. Like if you just pet right here, it'd probably look super soft. It's got like rabbit looking fur to it. I mean, this is this is a creature that probably should exist, I feel like at some point in our timeline. <laughs> oh no, here's the snake. It's a cute drawing, like I like the snake, but then when you see the real version, you're like, mm, maybe evolution can leave that one back 100 years. So this one's a building, not a snake tongue. I thought it was a snake tongue too, but this one could be real. Like architects are making all these weird buildings. Why can't that exist? All right, it probably can. You know what? Probably can. And I'm gonna say that it will in the next 10 years. You gotta love the wild looking cows. All right, so it seems like the consistent design here is that it's just a circle with inconsistent legs and then just the face. It's the face that's the problem. No, the face and the neck. Why is it so hard for us to draw faces? Like even now it's hard to draw faces. Why is that? the rest of it is fine? Like it's not perfect, but like the face is really bad. Maybe Minecraft should take some notes from this one because the panda bear that you see in this drawing actually looks like this in real life. And I feel like it's got a very nice spider monkey feel to it. Spider panda bear. Actually, you know what? Minecraft could go far enough to add bears to the game. And like, this looks a little bit creepy, but when you see the real version, it, uh, it looks a little bit creepier actually. No, wait, no, 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 no. There's no adding that to any game. This, there could be a full video game designed around these characters. This would be weird. Wow, I wish I had this. I had to draw the Mona Lisa as a kid just like this. It'd be really weird to see it come to life. What if there was like an art project where a bunch of kids drew the Mona Lisa and they actually transformed them into the real version and displayed them all? That's like a really cool way to do art, I feel like. I should be an art teacher. Hands down favorite one I've seen. This guy took the snake and interpreted it as an elephant. Doesn't make any sense at all. I don't know how he took that as an elephant because there's literally nothing, no ears, no trunk. But this is my favorite animal. This thing, if this existed, would be so horrifying to see coming at you. Like it looks excited to like watch you die. Oh, here's the old uh, giraffe straight out of a Dr. Seuss book. I mean, this thing literally looks like Dr. Seuss himself designed it. It's got the curly Q tail. This could be in the Lorax movie and I would not bat an eye. We got any horse lovers out there, huh? All right, there's your horse drawing and there's your real life version of the horse. I love the longness of the nose. Like this is almost like a hybrid between a horse and an anteater and uh, uh, like, a, like a skyscraper for those legs. I don't know if you could do that, but if you could, this is what it's coming out like. Now this one's super cute because it's just a little face of an animal and they took it and they made it into a full on dog and the dog looks so happy. I think if you got rid of the mouth and you just look at the eyeballs, it looks like such a cute dog. Put the mouth there, still looks cute, but also looks like it could kill you. You know what else could kill you guys? Not subscribing to this channel. So do it right now and click here to go watch some more videos. See you guys later, peace.